Hello, this is Lawrence, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my Vigitech project. So, first of all, what I would like to say is, it's not my best work. You know, I've done better. Um, it's a commercial for a watch. It's, about, it's supposed to be about 30 seconds. I send it to a contest of sorts when, but really it's not really a contest work. It's more of like a learning experience, but I'm going to tell you a little about how I did. So stuff that I used for this was um, Final Cut Pro 10, DSLR Canon, I used a tripod, I used some people, a classroom, you know, basic idea. I used um, the smaller lens. That's that's the only thing that I know it as, is we have a big lens and a small lens for our Canon. Um, it was pretty basic in that area, but we do have a green screen in the little building that we have, and I think that I'm going to use that in the future. So my goal here was to make a commercial about a watch, and I wanted to use a green screen and do some time effects, you know, like slow down time, stop time, stuff like that. But what I really wanted to do was stop time, Well, at the same time, uh, the main character, his name is Adam, the main character gets to move around a little bit while everybody else is stuck in time. I wanted to do that with an effect, but unfortunately I couldn't figure out how to do that by the time I needed to. I wanted uh, to be able to have a picture and then have Adam move around within the picture while it looked like he's walking on the ground which I thought I could do with green screen, which I probably could now, but at the time I could not get to that point. But that, that was the idea of what I wanted to do. But what I ended up doing was just having people sit still. So that, that was kind of a lapse in my project planning right there. I did really learn how to use green screen though. Um, I learned how to key in Final Cut Pro X10, or not X10, just Final Cut Pro X. Um, it's, kind of, it's pretty simple. Um, in the new version, they really made it easy for people to do. So all you have to do is click key, and then it's kind of a filter. Um, but what I ended up doing was just using a little filter that changed the idea of time going, of time stop to time stopping. So um, that, that was very important, and also uh, some three-point lining skills while actually filming on the green screen, which was also very important. Um, that involves two lights on the side, one on the top, and then making it look like um, exactly how the scene that you put it in was lit. So if I have a, a sorry, I film my uh, subject in a dark lighting, and then the background is in light lighting, that's not going to blend very well. Although you can fix that a little bit within the keying of Final Cut Pro, um, it's really important that you get that down. So that's kind of what I learned, even though I didn't really use it, <laughs> which probably um, is a little bit not what I wanted, but even though I didn't use it, that's kind of what I learned. Although I already basically knew how to use Final Cut Pro, I did learn a little bit more about that. Um, some of the filtering and text stuff, also some of the music uh, stuff, like the TikTok, TikTok, I kind of figured out how all that stuff kind of works and how to really fine-tune that stuff so that was overall a better fine-tuning of Final Cut Pro. I think the next time I do a project I should follow my plan a little bit more. Um, my, my plan wasn't I didn't follow it like at all and uh, I feel like I could do that a lot better next time so um, instead of taking more time to really figure out how to do something I should figure out if I can learn it in time and then if I can apply it in time. And then um, also I should have planned for uh, something that I already knew how to do. I already know how to do so much. And I planned on learning new stuff when really I should have been focusing on doing what I already know how to do for this big. So now I want you to watch it. Watch my little commercial. It's going to be up here. It's not the best quality or anything. But... Um, it's interesting, and um, some of the shots I can tell you about. Um, some of them don't really mean anything, but um, it was kind of hard to get the trying to make sure everything's stopped. My friend Brandon, he's the guy sitting in the desk with the scissors. He really had a hard time 
keeping a straight face. Um, but it's kind of a basic thing. I use a tripod and um, a DSLR Canon for all those shots. Although I probably should have adjusted my ILS a little bit better, my exposure. Um, I think overall it wasn't too bad. I could have done a little bit more of a filler shot of in between time being stopped and it continuing to go in the beginning. But overall I think it was it's it's not too bad. So overview of the whole project, I'd probably say give myself a B minus total. But uh, I think that in learning I did pretty well. Um I think that I've learned that you can't just film once. I think that I should have made some time to film a couple more times. You know, I just that was kind of like a one shot kind of thing when really I should have shot it, then looked at it, then shot it again just to make sure everything was good. But I didn't do that, and um, maybe some more planning ahead within learning, and maybe some more actually planning for the correct event instead of planning to learn when you should be planning to do and well I don't think it was a fail I mean it's not bad but I I think I got the right idea of what I'm gonna do next and I think that's kind of what's important about doing these projects so what's next uh, so thanks for watching this is me doing stuff